It's a showcase of trapping techniques that originated with Florida's Seminole Indians. Seminoles came up with a technique we now refer to as bulldogging. Take out your rope, quick wrap, tie a knot. And you have yourself a caught and tied alligator. I do want to explain a few things about these alligators that I use in my gator shows. All the gators you see in this pit are what's known as nuisance alligators. That means they came out of somebody's backyard, pond, canal, swimming pool, crashed the party, stole the beer, ate the dog, something like that. When that happens, Trapper gets called out. He catches, removes the alligator, charges you nothing. Alligator removal's free in the state of Florida because the alligator is the payment. When the Trapper gets about 20, they all go to a processing plant. So we get alligator belts, boots, handbags, wallets, things like that. The lucky ones we buy off the Trapper. They'll do educational shows at schools, alligator wrestling. We do a show where we swim with the alligators. They'll do that kind of stuff anywhere between six months to two years. It is never legal to release them back in the wild. It's absolutely forbidden by law. So we work with a few different preserves, largest being about 2,500 acres, but it is enclosed in a fence. Only because of that perimeter fence are we allowed to release them out there, basically giving these guys a wild existence again. Uh, we saved, I think, 16 last year. State of Florida killed over 10,000. We don't make a huge difference, nor do I claim to. Obviously, it makes a big difference to each gator you see in this pit. This pit is where Paul and Jimmy's trapping skills are honed and perfected. To a point. Enough of that stuff. I've been bit 19 times where a gator has actually locked on or bitten released or got a couple of teeth in me. I've had a 12 foot gator lock onto my hand. I've been grazed probably another 10 or 15 times. Put one tooth and rip a hole in my arm about that big. Um, but I mean, that's not that bad. In the late 70s and early 80s when video games came out, people became so creative. They would go and drill holes through their quarters tie a little bit of fishing line in there, put it in until it hit the micro switch, pull it back out, get their quarter, get a free game.